Hey everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I am so excited today. Do you know why? Let me tell you why. I get to play with Marc Jacobs. So, I, I still play with the makeup, you know what I mean? Like, when I'm not filming, I mean, I may use a couple of the products, but I tend to stay away from certain things because you can't get it no more. But when I tell you that it blew my mind when they said they were closing down Marc Jacobs, that blew my mind. Because I thought, there is no way. No way. Because I did hear a lot of people talk about that brand. And for the most part, not everything was a hit, no. But a lot of it was a hit. Like, almost, I would say, they maybe had one or two eyeshadow palettes that weren't the best. But for the most part, even their eyeshadow palettes were good. Yeah, you weren't getting that much. But, again, packaging, the name, that's what you're paying for, too. But the bronzer, I mean, that was a beloved product. And it was huge. You got so much. And, again, packaging. Their mascaras were good. Um, blushes, uh, highlighters, like there was just lipsticks, lip liners, eyeliners, like there were so many beloved products from this brand. I just thought this ain't possible. Now, now why would they do this? But they did this and I was so upset because like, I really, I love that brand and it saddens me because I mean, I know they were bought but we all know that because they were bought by another company, the formula is not going to be the same. It's just not. Now, will it be better? I don't know. But it won't be the same. And that's kind of sad in a way. I'm not saying they couldn't perfect it and make it better. But I don't believe they will, to be fair. I really don't. But let's get started on it. I am wearing a lot of Marc Jacobs, to be fair. So, one of my favorite things from them, and I don't know why, because on one hand, it's just a foundation. Nothing special. But once it sits on my face, it, like, melts in, and it just looks so pretty. So pretty. It's the Shameless Foundation. And I don't have much of it left. I'm actually, you know, running out, and I know I just need to use it up, but I mean, again, look at the packaging. Yes, this is plastic, you know what I mean, and it's, it doesn't feel luxe, but there's still something about this that still looks a little bit luxe, you know what I mean? For concealer, I am wearing my, um, Prism Libre concealer. I set the T-zone and under eyes with the, um, Lunar Beauty. I set the rest of the face with my Pat McGrath. For a bronzer, we know. We know what I used, right? Or do. So, right before they went out of business, they came out with that coffee collection. Now, I will say that did not go over well. And probably because it just didn't make sense on, a hand, on one hand. They had a light medium and a medium dark. One was in one was in Tantastic. One was in Tantalot. Tant. Tantalize. Yeah, I am wearing Tantalize right now. If that tells you anything. So this is what I'm wearing today on my face: the bronzer, the blush, the highlighter. I mean, it's gorgeous. But I am far from medium dark skin tone. Let's be honest. This one is the Tantastic one. And it looks like this. Oh, let me remove that. There we go. Beautiful. It really is. I think it's the highlighters that got everybody to be fair in these. But with that said, they were still good quality. It may not have made sense, but the quality was there. So I really enjoyed those. 
Um, then for lips, I'm wearing the lip liner in Slow Burn, the lipstick in Slow Burn, and the lip gloss in Sugar Sugar. Their lip glosses was another really um, popular product. I just don't know how they're, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm so excited. Like, I really do hope they come back out. I do wholeheartedly. But at the same time, I'm so scared because, like, I know how much money I'm going to put into it. Like, I know me. And I just don't want to be disappointed, you know? I'm so scared that they're not going to do this right. And they could do this right. And they could come back with a bang. But I just don't know. And it scares me. So, with that said, for eyeshadow, I own a lot, a lot of his palettes, and I have quite a few favorites, but I will say one of my favorites is the Cherry palette. It's Cherifit, cherry, Cherryrific, and I mean, look at that packaging. It's gorgeous, you know what I mean? It really is, and this is what the inside looks like. And there is never, I will say this, some of the color stories are my thing, and I think I'm only missing one of these, to be fair, but this is the little thing that goes inside of it, look at the little cherries, like it's adorable, but the packaging is very nice and sturdy and all that, but what I will say is that there's only, I'm missing one, so I can't talk on it. And there's only one in my collection that is not a favorite of mine. However, even when I create a look with it, I love it. I love the way it turns out. No matter how I do it, no matter what is going on, whatever palette I choose, I love the look at the end of the day. And that's what matters to me. Now, this is one of my favorite color stories. Obviously, it's a berry type thing, so it's right up my alley. It's not too dark. But it definitely has lighter shades in it, which is right up my alley. I mean, this is just a beautiful palette. That's that. So the first shade we're going to go into is Juicy, which is this one right here. And we're just going to set the whole lid, basically, because that's what I do. And I will say that I like the way they always labeled it because they kind of match the color so that you know what you're reading. Because 9 out of 10, I don't know what the color is that I'm picking up. So the next shade we're going to go into is Delicious, which is right beside that one. And we're going to start. But yeah, this palette is one of my favorites. And it was almost like back in the day as he would come out with them or as the brand would release them. I mean, the, the, that one would become my favorite. Like it was just the color story was just right. Or it was just a little bit better than the previous palette. You know what I mean? And they're just so gorgeous to look at and to store. They're easy. They're slim, you know, but I thought when this brand announced like it was shutting down and granted it was due to the sell of it which I got it wasn't necessarily due to lack of business <clears throat> I didn't think any brand was going to make it because I thought man if Mark Jacobs is out well Tom Ford's definitely out you know like all the designer brands I thought were out but it's so funny because now it's like there's more designer brands than ever And I've liked quite a lot of them, to be fair. Like, Girl On, I love their eyeshadows. Um, YSL, I've loved theirs. Of course, Dior's always had them. They're all right. Uh, Chanel's always had palettes. They're okay, too. But I would pick Marc Jacobs over Dior or Chanel over Tom Ford. Maybe not over Girl On or YSL. Because there is something special about those formulas.
and we are getting closer to what didn't what did they say 2025 they were gonna hopefully come back out Mark Jacobs was I, I am so excited for him too you know I'm I am so hoping but look how easy like these palettes are <laughs> way past expiration let's be honest I'm gonna be honest it they're way past expiration what is expiration on these anyway oh 12 months oh yeah we're way past okay way past we're gonna go into the shade extra and it picks up a good bit but yeah we're way past expiration but with that said these shadows I'm sorry but can you see no problems pigmentation oh she's there blend she's there too fallout none kick up not really I mean look at that It is beautiful. It is a beautiful color, you all. Beautiful. We're going to take that same shade and run it under the lower lash line. Do you all have any Marc Jacob palettes? Did you keep them? Did you get rid of them? Did you sell them? I bet they go on eBay for a good bit nowadays since you can't get them anymore I thought about letting them go but I I really do like them like I, I, I could let a couple go I'm sure you know that aren't my favorite but like I, I was no I like them too much I just won't I will use them I will do whatever I have to but I will not let them go plus I thought you know if they do come back out like I need I want a reference you know I don't want to take it off my memory because, well, my memory sucks. Let's be honest. I'm all about being honest. My memory sucks. I'm aware. What I think I remember, I don't. And what I think happened yesterday actually happened five years ago. You know. But even with that said, like, I, that's why I wanted to keep at least one so that I could compare the formulas. But there was never a time, even when, like, people were selling them and I did see them going for a good bit, there was never a time I thought, I don't care how hard up I was, I was never selling these because I just like them on top. And there's not a lot I can say that about, you know? A lot of it I did like I kept for collector like Morphe palettes and stuff maybe it wasn't something I really liked like the Jeffree Star and Morphe collab or the Manny and Morphe or you know all the collab palettes and stuff the Minnie Mouse like or Mickey Mouse the Sour Patch Kids like I kept them but it was more for collector or more for you know whatever I could I could let them go Matter of fact, I did let a couple of them go um, due to the fact that uh, my grandkids. So I'm not going to pretend like I didn't do that, right? Like I gave them to my grandkids. But these, no, absolutely not. And don't get me wrong, because I we don't talk about this brand often, and I know that people can't get it. I don't really use the palettes as much, and I probably should, but I am curious on how many people even have these palettes still in their collection, because if it kind of makes me wonder because here's my thing I really like them that's why I never let them go I like to use them 
Now, if these palettes are favorites of other people, why would you let them go? If you were renting and raven, how good they were when they were out and available. Or were you just saying it, you know, to make money, I guess. I'm just curious. And I could definitely understand not keeping them all. But if, you know, one for sure, I would just have to assume. And I know that things get outdated. I get it. So I can't really, but I would still have these in my collection just for um, the purpose of the, how pretty they are. Especially like this one. It's got gorgeous packaging. Okay, now we're going to take the shade Ask For. This is my favorite shade. This one and this one are my two favorite shades out of this palette. But this one really is. Look at the shade. I mean... And the way it lays on your lids, granted, I know, nowadays there's a lot of, um, palettes that look nice on aging eyes, or crinkly, wrinkly eyes even, if you have a lot of creases. But look at that, it's like a white, purple, silver, lavender type of shade, and it's I think this particular shade is why this palette is my favorite. Now, do I have this shade in other palettes? Absolutely. But I like the color story along with this, so there is that. Um... We're going to take the shade, shade, cherries, which is this one right here. It's another metallic. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner here just to keep it a little bit darker out here. to make them both the same we know how this goes it never works out but we try and I love the fact that every single one of his palettes had the most prettiest gradient effect without any thought process like you didn't have to think anything because he got the color selection right there for you we're going to take decadent this is a really pretty shade too. And we're going to put it right in the inner corner. It's like a wet white shade. Like a diamond. And after all these years... performs beautifully now the only like after all these years obviously do I expect it to no I wouldn't expect it to but does it yes now I will say like the lip liner it was dried out it took a little bit of work to get it to go um the uh eyeliners take a little bit of work to get them to go to I'm not gonna lie like I really have to warm them up 
are they worth it? Yes. Especially the eyeliners. The lip liners, neither here nor there. I wore it today because of it being a Marc Jacob video. But technically, no, I'm not going to spend my time to do that. There's so many other lip liners. But eyeliner, yeah, I'll work at it. But everything else, the blush, the bronzer, the highlighter, the palette, performed like I had just bought it yesterday. You know what I mean? Like nothing, nothing out of the way. Nothing crazy, nothing, it was just easy. We're going to take the shade uh, on top, the darkest shade. And I'm going to line the top lash line and the lower lash line. And I still have Marc Jacobs mascaras in boxes still sealed. I'm assuming that they don't start to go bad until you open them, right? And I've never opened them. Granted, if they did, it's no big deal because I didn't spend money on them. It's the sample ones. So that's a good thing. But I'm trying, you know, not to open them again for the relaunch if it relaunches. Just because I want to compare. And like, I really hope they come out with, I mean, they've had a lot of time to reformulate and stuff. So, like, I really hope they come out better than ever. Or at least, you know, maybe a different formula, obviously. But just as good. Especially the bronzer. God, that bronzer is amazing. Even his little brushes. I like them. Which I used the palette today. But I do talk about using the other bronzer. Or the other blushes I have. In singles in the same packaging as this even the hard outer shell and stuff one of mine did break but that's life I just store it easy Is it for the palette? I don't know. What are your thoughts on Marc Jacobs? Just curious. Was it a brand that you liked, or did you think it was overly priced? I mean, it was overly priced, but is it a brand that? the Marc Jacobs Mascara. For the top lashes. And I've never had any issues with their mascara either, I don't believe. And it looks nice. This is in... At last, 
that's the last one they came out with before they uh, pretty much called it quits. Uh, they did have the other one. Mm, Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I don't think I liked it. This is the one that I liked. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm just curious about the brand. I'm dying to know. what it's going to be like. And they have some pretty big shoes to fill, to be honest. I mean, there's definitely things they can work upon, which would be amazing. But there's definitely things that they nailed in the previous line that they got some big shoes to fill so but overall I really think this look is so pretty and so much of what is on my face is Marc Jacobs and that's so sad to me because I really miss it I mean the foundation so easy to use I mean and quick the palette was so the face palette even self-explanatory it was quick and easy to use the lipsticks the lip liners the well the lip liners pain in the butt but again it's old but the lipstick applied beautifully the lip gloss i mean it still has the minty um yeah because you can smell through the packaging the minty smell i mean come on look at that That's beautiful. I actually miss this one. The sugar sugar. I think I have the lip liner and the lipstick in that too. But yeah, overall I really like the way the look turned out. Again, it's right up my alley with color story. And I miss this brand so much. I really do. I need it to come back. I really do. But let me know your thoughts on the brand. Do you think it even needs to come back? Or do you think there... Well, there's definitely enough makeup out here in the world. But... Is, is there a need, I guess, for it? Is there really a need? And I would say yes. And here's why. Their bronzer... I know, it's silly. It really is. Their bronzer, though, was the best. It really was. For the money, for the packaging, for the product, the quality, all of it. It was the best. And up until just recently, I there was no bronzer that was like, mm, my favorite. Do I like the Pat McGrath? Yes, I love it. But was it as good as Marc Jacobs? No. But was it good? Yes. It had become my favorite because my favorite was no longer existing. But then, then, I realized Armani, the Holy Grail. Now, is this uh, better than this? Yes and no. I think for a natural day, this is nice. But when I'm putting on makeup in in a very, like, you know you're wearing makeup, makeup type of way, this is what I want. Even though it's not makeup B, it, it's just more, the tone is more darker and more, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. You know what I mean? But this has become my new favorite right but again you can't get Marc Jacobs but if I had to choose this or Marc Jacobs bronzer I'm going to choose this 
I am. So I guess that says a lot. So there is that. But again, it, the difference is the coloring and the tone of it, too. Because the, even though I really do love this bronzer, and I think it is very pretty, and it looks natural, there is something to be said about that one. So I don't know. Let me know. But anyway, I'm going to let you go. This video is long enough. I talk too much and ramble about absolutely nonsense for the most part but yeah let me know your thoughts on this brand are you excited if it comes back are you like yeah it can stay gone there's nothing you've really missed from the brand you know i'm i'm, I'm curious because there's definitely products i've missed now that i've used it again which i've always known i've always known i like their eyeshadow i've always known i like the bronzer and their blush highlighter I like it, but there's plenty of brands that I like with highlighter, you know, so that's nothing there. Mm, the color of their lipsticks, I really do like those, but could I find them in other brands? Of course. But yeah, so anyway, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it helped in some way. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that we're notified when I upload. I upload every day about Sunday unless there's a new launch. And let me know your favorite Marc Jacobs product. I'm curious, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.